Hello adventurers, welcome to our journey into the fiery heart of Iceland. Today we're diving into the depths of geological wonders, exploring the magnificent display of the last five major volcanic eruptions. Along the way, we'll uncover the telltale signs of premonitory earthquakes, and provide you with some essential safety tips. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or a curious novice, this thrilling adventure will surely ignite your spirit of exploration. So buckle up and get ready for an exciting geological adventure. Situated on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, Iceland is a hotspot of volcanic activity. This island country straddling two tectonic plates is home to about 30 active volcanic systems. Thanks to the divergence of the North American and Eurasian plates, magma surfaces more frequently here, resulting in an average of one eruption every four to five years. These fiery giants from Eijafjallajökull to Grimsvatn are both a source of wonder and a potential hazard shaping Iceland's dramatic landscape while occasionally disrupting life on a global scale. Before we dive into the eruptions, let's understand the color-coded alert system. This system is used globally to communicate the status of a volcano. It ranges from green, representing a normal, non-eruptive state, to red, indicating an eruption is imminent or underway. Yellow and orange fall in between, signifying potential signs of elevated unrest. Now let's discuss safety. If you happen to be near an active volcano, it's essential to follow local guidelines. These are put in place by experts who monitor volcanic activity closely. If an area is declared off-limits, there's a good reason for it. Remember, volcanic gases are hazardous and can cause health issues. Always stay on marked paths, keep a safe distance, and never venture into restricted areas. Another key safety tip is to have a plan. Know your evacuation routes and have a go bag ready with essential items like water, food, and a mask to protect against ash. And of course, always keep an eye on the local weather as it can change rapidly in volcanic regions. Remember, safety first. The power of nature is awe-inspiring but it demands respect. So, when visiting these fiery wonders make sure you're prepared, informed, and always listening to local authorities and experts. Our first stop is the 2010 eruption of Ejafjallajökull. Nestled in the southern part of Iceland, Eijafjallajökull, meaning the glacier of the island mountains in Icelandic, woke from its cold slumber in March of 2010. The eruption was a two-part act. The first part, known as the Fimvorduhals eruption, began on March 20th and was a sight to behold, attracting many tourists with its display of basalt lava and tephra. But the main event came on April 14th. The second eruption was much more explosive and severe, melting the ice cap on the volcano and causing a yokel lop, a type of glacial flood, that cut off the ring road. The ash from the eruption led to the cancellation of 100,000 flights, impacting 2 million people. Despite the disruption and challenges, the eruption sparked an interest in the fiery heart of Iceland, leading to an increase in tourism. The local farming community, though initially suffering from the heavy ash fall, saw their lands recover quickly. This eruption put Iceland on the world stage and highlighted the power of its volcanoes. Earthquakes are the Earth's warning system, signaling potential volcanic activity. These seismic events are often a precursor to eruptions, as the movement of magma beneath the Earth's surface creates tremors. Let's take a look at some notable instances. Before the 2010 Ijefjallajökull eruption, seismic swarms were detected in 1994, 1999, and 2009, indicating mounting pressure beneath the volcano. Similarly, the Fagradalsfjall eruption of 2021 was preceded by an intense period of earthquakes. The 2014 Holuhran eruption was also related to a subsidence in the Bardarbunga central volcano, a rare event that hadn't been closely monitored before. These pre-eruption seismic activities provide crucial information to volcanologists, who use this data to predict potential eruptions and issue warnings. That's why it's essential for tourists to stay updated on seismic activity in the area, as well as adhere to safety guidelines, so those tremors beneath your feet could be signaling something much bigger. Next, we head to Grimsvatn, Iceland's most active volcano. Tucked away under the icy blanket of Vatnajökull Glacier, Grimsvatn has a fiery resume with over 70 eruptions in the last thousand years. Imagine that. This subglacial volcano sits near the center of a mantle plume, a hotbed of magma that fuels its frequent outbursts. Now let's take a trip back to 2011. The Grimsvatn volcano had been relatively calm, but the seismic activity beneath the glacier was a clear sign that things were about to change. The volcano erupted in an explosive display, shooting an eruption column high into the sky. 
At its peak, it reached a staggering height of about 20 kilometers, causing aviation problems and leading to the cancellation of around 900 flights. The eruption lasted for a full week, producing approximately 0.7 cubic kilometers of tephra. The aftermath was a sight to behold, with ash deposits within a 3-kilometer radius. Grimsvatten's 2011 eruption was a potent reminder of the raw power that lies beneath Iceland's picturesque landscapes. Despite its might, Grimsvatten remains a fascinating sight for geologists and tourists alike. Fast forward to 2014, and we're at the Holuhraun eruption, the largest in over 300 years. On August 29, a fissure opened north of the Vatnajökull ice cap, marking the start of an eruption that would last for nearly half a year. This event was significant not only for its size but also for its connection to the subsidence in the Bardarbunga Central Volcano, a rare occurrence that had not been closely monitored before. Over the course of the eruption, an astounding 1.44 cubic kilometers of lava flowed out, covering an area of 84 square kilometers. Despite the massive scale of the eruption and the significant emission of sulfuric gases, the remote location of the volcano meant there were no serious hazards posed to human life. This eruption was a stark reminder of the scale and power of Iceland's volcanic activity. Our final stop is the 2021 eruption of Fagradalsfjall. This event marked the first eruption in this area in over 800 years, earning it the nickname Tourist Eruption due to its accessibility. For six months, the volcano put on a mesmerizing show, creating new lava fields and craters that fascinated both locals and tourists alike. Its activity varied, with periods of pulsating activity, steady lava outflows and quiet pauses. But don't let its tourist-friendly moniker fool you. This eruption was a reminder of the dynamic geological processes happening beneath our feet, building up a small lava shield covering nearly 5 square kilometers, and reminding us of the raw, untamed power of nature. Even after the official end of the eruption in September, there have been indications of continued volcanic activity, suggesting that Fagradalsfjall may have more surprises in store. This recent eruption served as a spectacular and accessible display of Iceland's volcanic power. As we speak, the earth beneath Iceland continues to rumble. The land of fire and ice is always on the move with seismic activity constantly monitored by scientists. Recently there have been tremors in the Reykjanes Peninsula suggesting the Earth isn't done shaping itself just yet. These tremors, while small, are significant. They provide scientists with valuable data helping them understand the magma movements beneath the surface. The Icelandic Meteorological Office or IMO is the primary institution responsible for monitoring these natural phenomena. They use an array of seismometers spread across the country to detect any seismic activity. In addition to seismometers, the IMO also utilizes GPS stations to measure ground deformation and weather radars to keep an eye on ash plumes during eruptions. They even monitor river levels to detect any glacial outburst floods known as yokel laups, which often accompany volcanic eruptions. By analyzing this data, scientists can predict potential eruptions, giving locals and tourists alike time to get to safety. It's a complex task, as volcanoes are notoriously unpredictable but every piece of information helps build a clearer picture of what's happening beneath our feet. The watchful eyes of scientists help keep us one step ahead of these unpredictable giants. As thrilling as volcano tourism can be, it comes with its own set of dangers. The allure of these fiery natural wonders is undeniable, but it's essential to be aware of the risks involved. Volcanic gases, for instance, can pose significant health hazards. Sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide are just a few of the gases released during an eruption that can cause respiratory problems and even prove fatal in high concentrations. Moreover, the unpredictable nature of volcanoes adds a layer of risk. Eruptions can occur without warning, turning a thrilling adventure into a dangerous situation in a matter of moments. Even the weather around volcanoes can be treacherous, with sudden changes in temperature and wind conditions. To mitigate these risks, it's crucial to be prepared. Equip yourself with safety gear such as gas masks, protective clothing, and sturdy footwear. Stay informed about the latest volcanic activity and heed local advisories. In case of an emergency, follow the instructions of local authorities and prioritize your safety above all. Also, remember that the terrain around volcanoes can be challenging to navigate. Steep slopes, loose rocks, and sudden cliffs demand physical fitness and careful navigation. It's advisable to hire a local guide with expertise in the area who can lead you safely through the landscape. Always remember, your safety is paramount. As visitors to these geological wonders, we have a responsibility to respect nature. 
To ensure the preservation of these awe-inspiring sites, we must prioritize ethical tourism. This means sticking to marked paths, avoiding any negative impact on the environment, and respecting local customs and regulations. Remember, sustainable tourism isn't just about enjoying nature's spectacle today, it's about safeguarding it for future generations to appreciate. Let's be mindful of our actions, ensuring that we leave only footprints and take only memories. And that, adventurers, is a glimpse into the fiery heart of Iceland. We've journeyed through the last seven major eruptions, felt the tremors of premonitory earthquakes and understood the need for caution when exploring these natural beauties. Remember, Iceland's volcanic activity is as fascinating as it is formidable. It's paramount to respect nature's power and prioritize safety over adventure. Let's strive towards ethical tourism, preserving these geological wonders for future generations. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comments section. Stay safe and adventurous.